Hey guys, today I'm here to teach you how to assemble a flute. First thing we need to do is show you the parts of the flute. This part here with the embouchure tone hole is the head joint. This has no keys, obviously, just has one hole where you're going to produce the sound. This long piece, the longest piece with all the keys is the body. And lastly, the smallest piece here is the foot joint. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your head joint in your right hand and you're going to want to get your body in your left hand. Make sure that you grip the body where have your flesh side of your palm where there are no keys because that can damage the flute. So then you're just going to simply insert the head joint into, into the appropriate side. Make sure not to do it from an angle or to aggressively put it in. Make sure that you're slowly putting it in there to cause the least amount of damage. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your embouchure hole to line up with this first key right here. And so you can ease, just twist the head joint and make sure that they're aligned. See, you should, it should be like a straight line, straight down. Next, you're gonna wanna get your head joint and your body, place it into your right hand. Next, you're gonna get your foot joint here, put your thumb on this key right there, and then place it on the other side and slowly wiggle it on. Again, not at an angle. This time, when you line it up, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to align this rod here with the center of the bottom key. A common mistake is to, to line up the rods with the rods, but that is incorrect. It is rod to the middle of this bottom key right there. Yes, like that. So in order to make a sound, you're going to want to create an oval slash ellipse shaped hole right here, like this. Make sure it's not too round or too square like this, or your sound is gonna be either unfocused or not come out at all. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you're blowing fast air and try to aim it at the back of the mouthpiece and also that when you play your flute that there's going to be two, you're gonna actually feel two air streams. You're gonna feel an air stream going straight across the mouthpiece and you're also gonna feel air going into the flute which creates the tones and everything like that. So what I like to do is I like to just start on the head joint because it's light and you can still use it to create a noise and have that sound be applied to the rest of the body. So also when you place your lips onto the lip plate here, you're gonna wanna put your lip about one third covering the embouchure hole. And you're just gonna want to blow, blow right at the back of it. When you do end up blowing, what I like to think of, I like to think of saying poo, as in Winnie the Pooh. It gives a good mouth shape and gives a nice like burst of air to get you really started on creating your sound. One head joint exercise that I like to do to make sure that your air speed is going the proper speed and to make sure that your tongue placement and your articulation is correct is doing a note length exercise. So I like to start off with two half notes, then four quarter notes, then eight eighth notes, and then 16 sixteenth notes. 
making sure that I'm always tonguing with a two syllable.